Hello my YouTube workout buddies and welcome to this week's workout. Today we are doing a hit and strength style workout focusing on our upper body. So we're really going to be working at uh, building that muscle, building that strength in our shoulders, biceps, triceps, back, core and chest. So for this workout you'll need a couple things. Um, I'm going to be using two sets of dumbbells so it'd be great if you had a lighter set of dumbbells and a slightly heavier set of dumbbells. I'm also going to be using my kettlebells but if you don't have kettlebells you can still do this workout with just dumbbells. It's totally fine but if you do have two different types of kettlebells I recommend grabbing that. I've got a 20 pound and a 35 pound and on a side note if you do my workouts regularly I just I highly recommend getting a couple different sets of kettlebells because I use them in pretty much every workout and if you like doing my workouts with me it's just just gonna make things better so go go get your kettlebells okay um, you'll also need a chair and if you have a stability ball like one of those yoga balls grab that um, if you don't have that that's okay you can use like a chair or a stool um, something that you can kind of make into like a bench because we're gonna be doing some single arm chest presses I'm gonna be doing it on a stability ball but you can do it on a stool or a bench or a chair or something like that so yeah this workout's gonna have two parts it's going to consist of the hit part, which is going to be a five minute section. The intervals today were going to be a little bit shorter. They're going to be 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. There's going to be eight intervals. It's going to take five minutes to do that. Then right after that, we're jumping into some rep based strength exercises. And yeah, and there'll also be a four minute warm up. I think the workout should take about half an hour. We'll see. We're going to get in, get out, get a little pump going on and get on with our day. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get warmed up. All right guys, let's get going with the warm up. Um, make sure you have your dumbbells handy. We're gonna be using them in the warm up. Um, but the first exercise, of course, is going to be jumping jacks. All right, and let's go. Brace that core. Get our body nice and warmed up. Ready to do some lifting, shredding, you know, all the good stuff. I know I don't do a lot of upper body focused workouts on my channel, so I hope you guys like it. And if you do want more, let me know in the comments um, and I'll make an effort to do more. But, uh, you know, as I've mentioned in previous videos, uh, my genetics just caused me to build up so much muscle in my upper body so quickly. Um, okay, grab your grab light, light weights, reverse lunge and lateral raise. Um, yeah, so it's really hard for me to build muscle in my lower body. So that's why I work my lower body all the time. And my upper body just kind of stays muscular without <laughs> too much too much focus, like literally maybe one like once every couple of weeks I'll do an upper body strength workout at the gym but other than that the only upper body stuff I do is the like body weight stuff that you see me doing in my videos so yeah we all have different weird genetic things that okay next knee push-ups so get on your knees we're just warming up the chest here nice and easy so elbows Make sure your elbows aren't going out to the side, like perpendicular. Make sure they're going um, at a 45 degree angle. Back. Brace the core. Don't want to tire ourselves out too much here. We just want to kind of warm up the chest. Five seconds left. Good. And 
now I'm gonna do some light kettlebell swings. So either grab a light kettlebell or a light dumbbell. You can do this with a dumbbell as well. And let's just get that nice swing action going. Make sure you're hinging at your hips and pushing your hips forward every time, contracting your glutes, slight bend in your knees. But it's definitely not a squat, it's a hip hinge. Ten seconds left. Oh, a little family of birds just landed on my patio set out there. It's so sweet. What are you guys doing up there? Huh. Okay, so warm up is complete. Um, so now we're gonna move on to our first five minute hit section. Okay, so get ready. Um, this section is gonna move pretty fast, so you might just wanna go look in the description box and see what moves we're doing. I'll cue you obviously, but we're gonna be moving fast. So uh, get your dumbbells ready, we're gonna need them. Get your heavier, heavier kettlebell ready. You're gonna need your chair. Yeah, so chair, dumbbells handy, and heavy kettlebell. Have those things uh, within reach, and let's start. <laughs> Again, 30 second intervals. We're starting with squat and press. So lift it up. And let's go. Side note, I have this annoying piece of hair that's like sticking out. I don't know if you can see it because I'm not very close to the camera, but it's really annoying me. Really, come on, push it up, squeeze the glutes. Nine seconds left. Shoulders should be burning. This one always just gets me going. Good. Okay, incline plank row. Start with the left. Let's get into your plank. Put your hands on the chair. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Pinch your shoulder blades. Elbows should be coming straight back. Like there's a string tied to your elbow. Pulling it up towards the ceiling. Good. Okay, heavy kettlebell swings. Oh guys, I just realized that there's only a five second rest in between. I don't know, should we keep going with just the five second rest? Or should I change it for the second and third? Okay, incline plank row, other side. Plank, elbow comes straight back. Brace the core. Next exercise is gonna be elevated push-up kick across. All right, put your feet up and go. Push up, kick. Oh. Engaging the core. And the obliques here. And obviously the chest. Good. All right. Try. Flying jack shoulder tap. Okay, 
getting a little bit more cardio, a little more shoulders and core. Five seconds. All right, tricep dips. Keep your feet, sorry, keep your back and your butt close to the chair. Make sure your elbows are going straight back, not out to the side. chance to get from one and exercise to the other okay so now we're going to move on to single arm chest presses so if you have your ball grab it if you don't have a ball if I didn't have a ball I'd be using this right now um, so you know modify what you what you have okay and for this exercise it depends on what weights you have but so my options for this is either 20 pounds or 35 pounds. And I really want to focus on getting stronger right now. So I'm going to go for 35 pounds, even though I'll probably only be able to do like eight reps of it, which is fine. But if you don't, if you have like, if you don't have a weight that's heavy enough to do something like a low rep range, like eight reps, just do as many reps as you can. <laughs> Uh, like aim for about 8 to 15 anywhere in between there Okay, so I'm gonna go for 35 pounds and we'll see how many I can do so you want to bring Weight above strain your arm Brace your core squeeze your glutes and lower and lift one Two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I got ten. That's two more than I did last time I did this exercise. So that's cool. All right, let's maybe try to get 10 on this side too. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. You can put the weight down. And put the 
chair aside or the ball, whatever you're using. Next exercise is we're going to be doing bent over rear delt flies. So I don't actually have the correct dumbbells for this. So I'm going to be holding six pounds, six pounds in each arm. It's too light, but this is the best option I have right now because my dumbbells just be way too heavy for this exercise. Okay, so what you're gonna do is bend over, straighten your arms, but keep a slight bend in your arms, and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades, like, yeah, you're trying to pinch them together, and slow and controlled. So, this is actually my first time doing this exercise, so I don't know how many reps I'm gonna do, we'll see, so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. All right, 12 is good, I think. Okay, and now we're gonna do bicep 21s. So, you grab your dumbbells. So the way 21s work is it's three bottom, or sorry, seven bottom halves. So we're going halfway up and down for seven. Then for the next one, we're going to go all the way up and halfway down. And then for the remaining seven reps, we're going to go all the way up and all the way down. And look, my hair is like sticking out. <sighs> look at that. Yeah, hi. <laughs> That's not annoying at all. Okay. All right, let's do it. So seven bottom halves. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it all the way up. One, halfway down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way up, all the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, last one, seven. Whew, this is like the perfect weight for me because I feel like I can barely finish that last rep. All right, shake it out. Round one complete. We're going to do that whole thing two more times. All right, you guys, ready for round two? Timer is starting. So now we do have a 10 second rest or, you know, pause in between the exercises to move from one exercise to the other so it'll go a little more smoothly. We're starting with squat and press. Get ready and let's go. Squat. Push it up. Keep that chest up. Brace that core, squeeze the glutes. Last one. Incline plank row. Brace the core. Get ready. Really make sure you're not rotating through that core. Everything stays stable. Hips, uh, hip bones facing the ground. Ten seconds left. I know this is challenging, guys. Good 
Good job. Okay, heavy kettlebell rope, or heavy kettlebell swing, sorry. Let's do it. Hinge at your hips, shoulders back. Squeeze the booty on the way up. All right, incline row with the other arm. Brace the core, keep the hips stable. Don't rotate through your upper body either. Pull that elbow straight up. more seconds. Good job. Okay, elevated push-up, kick across. Give me a push-up. Now engage your obliques, kick across. Shoulder tap. Whew. Lots of core work here, hey? Core and shoulders are feeling it. Ten seconds. Come on, you got this. Tricep dips. If you need to make it a little bit easier, bring your feet in towards your body, but make sure your elbows are still going straight back and butt and back are close to the bench. Gel. Okay, here we go with the jugglers. Ready? These feel like a break. <laughs> this is the, all the core and arm work, and my arms are just dead already. Get those knees way up. Eight. Whew. 
other side. Lift it up. Don't forget about your core and your glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, great job. That was really challenging. All right, get rid of the ball and grab your lighter dumbbells. I'm using my six pound weights here. Bent over, rear delt flies. So bend over, remember to keep your arms mostly straight but with a slight bend and lift it, squeeze, pinch your shoulder blades together, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Nice work. All right. Bicep 21s, grab your dumbbells. All right, I'm gonna do these hammer style because these weights are annoying and I can't really get them into the right position when they're in the regular style, but you know, you can use whatever grip you want. Okay, seven bottom halves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven top halves, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down, all the way up. Whew. One. Two. Oh my gosh. Three. Four. Oh, three more. Five. Six. Seven. Oh gosh. <laughs> You know, my dumbbells are only 12 pounds, and I don't know why, but my biceps are just weak. <laughs> okay. All right. We are done round two, guys. One more to go, and then we are done. All right, you guys, last time through. Got start on my timer. Now grab your dumbbells. We're starting with squat and press. Get the dumbbells up, and let's go. Almost there. Oh man, this is gonna kill me. Who in plank, incline plank row. Brace the core, squeeze the glutes. Bring the elbow back. Don't rock your torso. Don't rotate anything. Everything stays solid and still. Just the arm that moves. 10 seconds left. Good. Heavy swings. Grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell.
Squeeze the glutes. Push those hips forward on the way out. All right, incline plank on the other side. Brace that core, squeeze the glutes. Don't rock the boat. <laughs> Don't rotate your hips or your upper body. Just focus on squeezing that back and the elbow up. 10 seconds left. Almost there, guys. It's the last time you have to do this. Keep pushing. Nice work. Okay. Elevated push up and kick across. Get those feet up. You can do this. Push up and kick. Brace the core. Engage your obliques here. Come on, get strong. Good job. All right. Oh my goodness. Plank, jack, shoulder tap. No! 30 seconds, guys. Let's go. Again, push the hips up and let's go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. All right. Boom. Let's get those rear delt flies. Grab your light dumbbells. Hinge at your hips, flat back. Bend over. Extend your arms, but keep a slight bend. And now squeeze your shoulder blades together. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew, all right. Put those weights down. Bicep twenty ones. Last thing. All righty. So, we're gonna start with seven bottom halves. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're gonna bring it up all the way and lower halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now lower all the way, down all the way up. One, two, three, four, Five, two more, six, uh, last one, seven. All right, clearly I need to work on my bicep strength. <laughs> okay, you guys, guess what? We are finished. So good job with this workout. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I feel like it really is good for developing that strength that muscle tone in the upper body, and there's a bit of cardio in there as well, you know, for a little bit of extra fat burning, so yay! If you like my workouts and um, want to kind of like leave me a tip or just show me some appreciation, you can consider joining me on Patreon. I do one workout a month on Patreon just for the people who support me there and I basically make a workout based on their request. So if you have anything specific that you want from me, you could join me on Patreon and comment on one of my posts or send me a message and I will be sure to incorporate your desires into the workout. And yeah. And if you're looking for some ideas of what to eat before and after your workouts, I do have an ebook called This Is How I Eat which is a collection of all my favorite high, high protein, super, super healthy, easy, not fancy, <laughs> plant-based recipes. So I'll also put the link for that in the description box. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't done my free seven, week, seven day jumpstart program and you just want more of my workouts, go ahead and sign up for that. It's free, seven day program. And yeah, I think that is it with the shameless self-promoting in this video. <laughs> So thank you so guys, thank you so much guys for working out with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.